The stigma around meditation practice has actually been one that has been going around for a while now and it's mainly there because a lot of people just go along the stereotype and just follow the stigma along with it but there's actually more depth into it as to why people do it so therefore today I'm going to enlighten you on those topics as well as focus on an emphasis on the African community that meditation has had on it. Hello everyone, my name is Serafina Gargiulo and currently I'm doing research in the health and wellness field with a focus on meditation. Personally, I've never been able to just meditate and be alone with my thoughts due to my ADHD that doesn't really allow me to just be present in the moment. But figuring my way through this, I've learned a few things that I'm going to encourage you guys to do and just to give some more insight onto what meditation actually is. So in a research, there's 15 African American adults and they kind of had some experience through meditation, whether that is in the past or the current. According to National Institutes of Health, a primary goal of research in this area is to examine how med meditation and other mind body interventions can enhance resilience, positive effect, and coping in order to improve health and well-being and prevent or slow disease progression. So there's this one program that was developed and it's called MBSR, which stands for Mindfulness Based Stress Reduction and is an eight-week program that helps clients with high stress levels and anxiety kind of cope with it through meditation. And from that research, numerous studies have demonstrated that benefits of MBSR with regard to stress management and health promotion, including improvements in stress biomarkers, physiological well-being, sleep quality, exercise frequency, eating behaviors, wound healing, cardiovascular reactivity, and glucose metabolism. So the main purpose of this study was to see the cultural re relevance of meditation to prevent stress-related health conditions among the African-American adults. So as much as it may seem like a positive thing, there are some drawbacks that some people have experienced and would argue that meditation is not the best thing for you. So experts have claimed that meditation may cause anxiety attacks in people because meditation tends to bring back all kinds of emotions and memories. People have shown signs of fear, anxiety, and paranoia. Also according to the same author, while meditation has many positive impacts on the mind, it can also induce feelings of neg negativity as per health experts. This in turn can sometimes cause feelings of dissociation and an unwillingness to connect with other people. It may change the way you see others and make it difficult for you to bond with others. In my opinion, if you are meditating and you get a sense of some past things, I believe that you have not coped with the things that have happened in your past, you haven't necessarily acknowledged it and accepted it, so that's kind of why it's being present. And in terms of dissociation, I've had some symptoms of that during meditation and some negative things, but I believe that you just have to find the right technique that works for you. What may work for someone on the internet may not work well for you, so you just gotta kinda trial and error some things out to see what is best, which goes along to the different types of techniques that there are for meditation. According to the author, maybe yours should be a kind of meditation infused with practice of gratitude that would really allow you to have a mindset shift and a perspective on what's happening in your life. Or maybe you're someone who's plagued with chronic pain. There are different forms of mindfulness meditation that you can pick up of and have you shift a relationship to pain with your body. Examples of different types, according to the Mayo Clinic, include guided meditation, which is mentally visualizing a relaxing situation or place, using various senses like sight, sound, and smell to enhance the experience, mindfulness meditation, which is when you willingly live in the present, only aware of physical sensations like the flow with your breath. There are numerous more, but you kind of just have to, again, as I said, trial and error and test out what's right for you. So overall, I know this stigma around meditation is something that most likely won't go away because a lot of people just are not educating themselves in it and just don't even try it to begin with. But life can be one crazy ride with the highs of the highs and the lows of the lows. And I understand that meditation is not just going to magically fix every single life problem of yours, but you just have to realize that life is based on how ex you exactly see it. And I believe that through meditation, it can improve your mentality, your spirituality, and your physical body. Whether that is just going on a walk to just reflect on your life like by yourself in the fresh air or just taking some deep Deep breath, just whatever works for you, I can guarantee that you'll find a way and just educating yourself on how it has impacted the African community is also very important. And me enlighten, 
enlightening you on such a topic won't really do much unless if you actually make a change within yourselves and you all have the power within yourselves to do so. So take care and be well. Thank you so much for listening.